when we're coming up with safety procedures for our tools, what we're trying to guard against is not just what is probable, but what is possible. Throughout my 21 years here of teaching, I've never met a student once who could accurately predict his own accident or anybody else's accident. As a result, we're trying to guard against the things that might happen, not just the things that are likely to happen. The prime function of the jointer is to create a smooth surface on one face and then putting that smooth face up against the fence and creating a smooth edge. And those two, if the machine is set up correctly, will be at 90 degrees to each other. And that's fundamental to all the woodworking that we do. So the process is something like this. Put a face down first, using a push block, and then pushing it through slowly but deliberately. It may require several passes depending on how poorly uh, crooked or warped the material is. Once the face is then smooth, that face can go up against the fence. And then, you'll notice this in a moment, as I push it through, it's very similar to the table saw. I'll use my left hand to support the material like this, and after my two hands meet, just before the cutter head, I'll take my left hand, place it on the outfeed side, and continue the process like that. The ultimate goal here is not to push the material down with your hand as you pass over the cutter head. That's not what we want to do. So what we're going to do is as we come here, we'll pass it through, stop, change our hand, and then continue the cut. <laughs> <laughs> 